class. So what you do to get different values is first, I'm going to put my brush in my medium value. Let me see, let me get it the way I want it. So about medium tone, and then I'm gonna dip just the very tip of that into my darkest and watch. I'm gonna do a side stroke. So I'm gonna lay it down on its side and I'm gonna pull it across like this. And because I loaded it up with the light value first, and then I just put the tip in the dark value, it's a really cool effect where my brush stroke is lighter down here and gets darker near the top. So why don't you practice making some brush strokes that show value, light and dark. on to our last brush stroke and this is called the smooshing stroke. I wonder if you can figure out what that means. So please write that in your sketchbook. So for this smushing stroke, just get some ink on there, it could be dark, medium, light, whatever you want, but load up that brush, get that ink in those bristles. And this is basically a stamp. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tilt it to a 45 degree angle like this, and I'm going to stamp leaves. So the shape of my brush is already a leaf, and I'm just going to use that to stamp. Please try stamping some leaves. One more smushing stroke to show you. That's a tongue twister right there. So load up the ink and then you're gonna hold your paintbrush straight up and down and you're gonna smush that into the paper like this and you're gonna just turn it in almost a complete circle and then you've made a lily pad. So you put it down, it's like a stamp, you turn it and you've made lily pads. So go ahead and try the lily pads. By the way, this could also be panda ears 
or flower petals.